Welcome to 12H News Channel. While the Ukrainian Defense Forces concentrate in the south of the country and the Donbas region, offensive operations in and around Kharkiv in the northeast are pushing the Russians back. Although Russia has now temporarily seized Mariupol, it has not been able to take full control of the other coastal cities it has occupied. The Ukrainian army has set up a very serious line of defense at Mykolaiv, which borders Kherson, and is even trying to advance deep into occupied Kherson. The defenders of this place are based on the 80th Air Assault Brigade and the 81st Air Assault Brigade, as well as the 51st and 53rd Navy Infantry Special Forces Brigades. The defense of the Ukrainian Marines and paratroopers is very strong here. The Russians attempt to attack Mykolaiv at every opportunity, but here the paratroopers of the 80th Air Assault Brigade do not allow the Russians to pass. Zala 42108, a Russian aircraft that was trying to infiltrate the interior, was shot down by the Ukrainian STRE-LA-10 anti-aircraft missile system. In addition, in the intense domination clashes that followed, the 80th Air Assault Brigade destroyed 10 Russian armored vehicles, an infantry fighting vehicle and two tanks. During today's fierce fighting, one of the units of the 80th Separate Air Assault Brigade destroyed about 10 armored vehicles, and our Stuna anti-tank missile system team destroyed two Russian tanks and an infantry fighting vehicle. The Ukrainian Armed Forces Air Strike Corps released a statement. Currently, Russia seems to be trying to reach Odessa and Kyiv by land via Mykolaiv while trying to gain control over the occupied Ukrainian territory. But the libertarian people of Ukraine do not give rest to the Russians in the occupied coastal city of Melitopol and are trying to prevent the Russians from taking control. The biggest proof of this was that two days ago Ukrainian guerrilla fighters blew up a Russian armored train in Melitopol. 